Hi everyone, welcome back to Channeling Luxury. So today we will take a look at, now my French really sucks. Um, so I did use Google Translate for this one, uh, but I think I still have it wrong. The Métier, Métier, those of you who speak French, please correct me. Métier de Art um, from Dakar show. And um, some of the, the components of this, um, it's in the backdrop of the Palace to Justice, Justice Palace. And um, the idea is to have columns, sunlit rooms, sunlit inner gardens, um, and spirit of the 70s. So we should expect some 70s looks or 70s designs. Um, supposedly a lot of vibrant color. I have not taken a look at this show. I'm just watching it with you at the same time. Um, a lot of embroideries and beadery, uh, beads, beadery. This <laughs> is my head cold's getting the better of me. Um, a lot of beads and ornate ornateness, uh, which we know also adds a lot of ching ching dollars when it comes to our pieces. So this one's going to be interesting. Uh, supposedly a lot of florals. We'll see. Um, and a lot of things that are intended to be layered. Sometimes that's nice because we end up with a jacket or a top, but we don't have to buy the whole ensemble. Um, and then also a bold belt. That's what I have read. So with that said, let's watch it together and see what we all think. why I can't pronounce this. All right, so first piece, jacket. Yay for tweed. Looks kind of heavy, just my opinion. Um, we look like we have some striped trouser pants. Striped trousers. Definitely a bold belt. So that was truthful. Um, love the colors on this. Looks like pre-fall. Looks like orange, brown, kind of a mustard yellow. Love the look of this. Um, from what I can see, very limited here. There we go. Uh, interesting that the top underneath almost looks like the 22K black and white piece, of the one that had the, the clasp you can see in my last video uh, and also my Paris video. Uh, interesting, definitely 70s vibe here going on. Um, I kind of like it. The bell bottoms, eh, looks like they might be bell bottom-ish. Colors are cool. We'll see. have to see how heavy thick it is. Look at the colors in that one. Definitely ornate, lots of um, jeweled colors like they promised. Green, um, looks like a, maybe, I'm trying to look at the fabric here. It's hard to tell, velour neckline. I don't know, we'll see. It's so hard, right? We have to pick these pieces in advance and how can you tell off of this? I, I don't know. Jackets are longer, if you notice. They're definitely not just even at the waistline. These are longer jackets. This one looks pretty cool. Simple but basic, or simple but nice. Look at that bag. Caramel color, but reinvented. Looks like in a thick chain mini, maybe. Liking the top a lot. Jewelry, not so much, but that's easy to ditch. Um, but I like the suit look. I don't know what the fabric would be, but it looks pretty cool. Definitely 70s vibe. That looks like it might be a lightweight fabric, but just kind of a lot going on yeah look at that front i'm hoping that's a blouse underneath or removable probably won't be pretty cool looking i need to be much taller like two feet taller but lots of sequins here just as they promised um, interesting piece here. I like that it's open, kind of half knit, half tweed. Interesting. Um, it's one of these pieces that could go either way, right? It could make you look really bulky on top, if you're gonna want, or it could be slimming and nice. Nice pants, I like the pants. The style looks pretty cool, I like that it's open. Pink colored pants. Love the pant, it looks really lightweight, maybe silk. They did a silk black and white suit, maybe many of you remember. I think it was in 2016 or 17. It's been one of my all-time favorites. It doesn't fit me anymore, but one of my all-time favorites. It would be great if they came out with this in pink. 
There's the top. But look at that bag. So that's kind of a longer, more vertical shaped than what we saw in 22K, right? Where they had the that bag that I had uh, in my, I think it was my fifth video, that was too thick, it was too wide um, against the body. Okay, this to me, way southwestern, way south. My former mother-in-law um, is really into like New Mexican art. That's what this reminds me of. Nothing is New Mexican art, I just don't wanna wear it. But what do you think? Ugh. You know what I think would be cool? The vest, separate from everything else. Skirt, for me, no. Top's too basic for the price they're gonna charge, right? So here's a, my question, is that skirt and pant combined like we've seen happen so many times, too many times? This very much reminds me of a jacket that came out in 22K that was all pink sequin. Very uncomfortable to wear and like $10,000 was crazy. But um, it's not in any of my videos, it came out later. The top underneath, super 70s retro look. The jewelry's super 70s. Look at the one alongside her with the long coat that was walking on the other side. This same thing. So maybe the top underneath will be cute. And maybe the top on the outside will be cute independently. <laughs> kind of interesting look. The pants for me would be... You never know till you try them. Right? So there was another new bag. Um, interesting clog that we just saw come down in brown. Lots of color going on here. Maybe, maybe too much. For myself, when there's a lot of color in a, in a collection, I might get one piece from the whole collection in color because it's just too much. But look at the handbag. That's another new style we haven't seen. This. Remember the jumpsuit? The shorts with the long, the play suit, the shorts with the really long back? That's what this reminds me of. Um, I couldn't remove it or I would have purchased it. So hopefully this is removable. Nice little design on the front. It's not gonna be removed. Maybe it's two pieces, that would be nice. Um, so here's the first piece I've seen with a big logo on it, right, the, under, the piece underneath. It looks like it's peach sequins um, and a lot of detail here with the silver C's. And it looks like that might have green sleeves, kind of a peach and gray underneath and then a jacket over it. Again, we won't know until the looks come out, but interesting. Another interesting look. This to me is too, is too uh, baggy. I was gonna say bag lady, but it's so inappropriate to say, but it's too baggy. Just too, it looks like an unkept person going to the grocery store. This look. I wouldn't want to pay for this. I don't know, that's just me. Right, maybe the vest. Maybe the vest might be. This dress, I don't really know what to say yet. The back, the train makes it a no-go for myself. Okay, so again, lots of, this is like an animal print with green and burgundy. I don't know what you all think. Um, find out my style. Did you see that handbag? That was a bucket bag. It looked like it had, it was velour in dark burgundy. There it is again. Maybe it's a treat. This, I don't know. <laughs> the animal print underneath is a no for me, but maybe the vest would be cool, but it's probably leather and probably 10 grand plus, but it might be worth looking at. There's another handbag. That was all sequins. I love that they're using more inclusive models. I think that's fantastic. Um, the, I think this, this looks leather, coral colored pant with a very sequiny <laughs> uh, tiger, tiger print, <laughs> animal print top. 
And look at that handbag, that's big time rainbow. It looks like sequins and a wallet on chain. So, there you go. Maybe it's a mini, actually. Yeah, I think it's a mini. It's too, too thick. Um, very professional look here, kind of surprising. Look at that flat bag. So that is a um, patent leather with green. Um, it looks like amber and black. I want to see it from the front. Um, but you can see the oversized sweater, oversized top. There's that bag again. Pretty cool color, I think, for fall because it goes with everything. It could be very neutral. Um, we'll see. A lot of you asked me, by the way, about patent leather bags. If you ever have to sell them, you're going to get half, if you're lucky, of what you paid for them. So if you buy a patent, leather make sure that you love it because you're not going to get your money back in a pinch um it's really difficult not that many people like the patent for some reason i think things stick right when you try to get them in and out but just a random aside another top with the cc in another color it's too much for me i mean i love the black leggings that i have from chanel this is like the colors here are just, to, they're, to me, they're just wrong. I know that they're opposite on the color wheel, so they probably do go. Um, this is burgundy, hot pink, a bunch of other colors in between, <laughs> but we can continue to watch. This for me, it would be not even up for consideration. There's another bag, it's a floral. It looks like a cocoa handle in floral. And for someone my size, it'd be like <laughs> overwhelming. Um, I think it's one of those that could go either way. It could be super cool and we could rock it with some shredded jeans or shredded jean shorts or something, or it could look really granny. I don't know. for me for this one. So here you can see the top, lots of embellishment. Last time I did, the, did this in 22B, with tons of embellishment, the top was like seven grand, so something we have to watch out for. But the tweed skirt I think is cool, but um, as we know, tweed makes our butt look a lot bigger. <laughs> so um, either we all have to dye it if we want this one, or buy another size or just accept it. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting color palette on the skirt. Oh boy. All right, so it's a skirt over jeans. <laughs> That's gonna make things widen even more. I didn't even see that. It reminds me of the 22K jacket and this. Oh. It's too much fabric, right? I mean, we're not we're not the height of these gorgeous models, most of us. Um, very cool top. I think that has a lot of potential, unless it's all embellished and then it's like fifteen thousand dollars and then forget it. But um, interesting top here on this one. I love this. It looks great against her skin tone too. So there's a trench. Looks like it pulls it pulls in at the waist, colors. Um, looks like a, a ombre color, like yellow, pink, dark pink, um, also with yellow pant. Interesting. So there's definitely a lot of like things over things. So the layering component really did happen in real life. Even this pants over uh, under a dress, right? But take a look at the platforms when they come through. And this is a different color 19. It looks like almost a mustard between tan and mustard. I'm sorry, 22, not 19. There's another small, almost looks like, I'm trying to think of the name of that bag. Um, it'll come to me, but it's definitely a pink with this super thick chain. So the bag looks like it's this big and then the chain looks like it's that fat. I don't know if that's gonna work, but 
Um, they're definitely getting more funky with their bag styles, but um, yeah, so we'll take a look at this. To me, this is too much fabric. And then that chain for me looks really tacky. You know, you don't want to spend this much money for a bag and have like a white enamel, off-white enamel chain. I don't. I'm sure many of you may. And it may look cool. Maybe my style on this collection just sucks. I don't know. There was an interesting tweed bag in there. Um, kind of uh, looks like a dress with leggings. Like Couldn't quite catch that bag. Maybe cute, very oversized. Interesting that it's paired with denim. So they are gonna be releasing a few different types and pairs of denim. I hope to God, Chanel, if you are listening, I know you're not, but if you are, please add some stretch to your jeans so that I don't have to sell them as soon as I like have a nice sandwich. Um, <laughs> so, um, maybe we can do something about that. But um, interesting top, interesting layering. I like it over the jeans. I think it looks pretty cool, casual chic. Um, if the jeans are stretchy, yay, if they're not. This is just a cool, fun outfit, I think. You know that top is gonna be like 15 grand, but I think it looks pretty cool. There's another top over jeans with another layered top. We got a glimpse of the bag again. So this one, that one is a wallet on chain and it looks like it has um, sequins also. These jeans to me, no, 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 no. They look like they have sequins, which is kind of cool, but th that is a wide, almost a boot cut looking jean. Take a look at that, that's a lot. So there's the leather jacket. We know one appears every collection pretty much, right? Um, so for what it's worth, there's that one. Those are some serious jeans. I love her hair. Super cute. I'm trying to grow mine out. All right, this is pretty cool. Um, so I don't like the jeans, but interesting top underneath the crop top. And uh, very interesting jacket with a lot of colors. I love jackets. I have pockets in the front. Maybe. It's a longer piece. Did you see that choker? That was kind of cool for an overpriced accessory. That is it. <laughs> So there's another bag style with um, looks like hands, dual dual um, straps there. Very cute from behind here, right? I think the, the style looks really cute from behind. I just think that this kind of style, you really need to be 5'8 plus. I'm 5'4, that's not gonna work for me. I like the openness of this one. Not the length. <laughs> uh, interesting. Um, head wrap, maybe? I wonder if it's for sale or just an accessory. Probably everything's for sale. More head pieces. This one, this looks like it belongs to me in like the winter collection for the holidays. Especially that school cap. It's cute, but this, I have to see it on, but do you see the shoes though? We had more platforms. Cool top, but basic. I like the headpiece. The skirt's actually kind of cute. It would need like that much tailoring for me, but this reminds me. Look at that. You see the detail down the front, how it connects, how it, the clasp looks very much like the 22K um, white and black top. This is a longer sleeve with a kind of a cool neck. The skirt's too much to me. Small little bag, kind of cool. Um, I don't particularly like the dress or skirt combo underneath or the jacket, but interesting bag in this one, in this still shot. Actually, that's the same as the black one they had a few months ago. It was like 
$18,000, right? So maybe that's a pass. This green flowery stuff it looks like J. Crew to me, to be honest. I, I, I couldn't pull this off. Only a few more looks. Too much. Too much Chanel. It looks, I think it might be cool, like, you know, red carpet casual look if there's such a thing. <laughs> Same thing here. It's too much. Too much to me. I have a Missoni, I have a Missoni top that looks like this. This is what that looks like to me, a Missoni top. But look at the stretchy belt. Kind of cool. See the platforms again? This jacket's too, to me, too overbearing. Hopefully they end on a good note here. Interesting bag. Interesting top, right? You have to go way down a size on that one. Um, this is a little bit too matronly for me. I like how they paired it with the sneakers. This one, okay, so what I love, love about this one is actually the vest. Um, the top and the skirt to me are nothing, but I, I like the vest. The vest has potential. But I'll bet you that's a lot of beadwork. We see in real life. Lots of long dresses for those of you who love them. Tons of embellishment here, just like they said. Definitely 70s vibe across the board, even the shoes. Kind of a saddle shape. This reminds me of the Daisy um, sweater that I picked up like two years ago. Never wore it, sadly. I should sell it actually, but. Lots of super tight pants. Time to hit the gym. This look for me is just too much. I don't know what's going on here. Um, yeah, too much. What do you think? I'd love to know what you all think. It's interesting how the folks hanging out in the show, just like on their cell phones and stuff. I don't know if that's intentional. I got to go to the rendition show, and um, that was not the case. There were not folks for crews. There were not folks uh, hanging out on their cell phones. But this may be staged. Interesting aside. I like the beanie. I'm liking the skull cap here. Skirts over pants can look really cool, and dresses over pants can look really chic, but unfortunately it also adds a lot of bulk. So unless Chanel is using an extremely fine fabric, which I doubt, um, very, very lightweight, I have a hard time feeling like a lot of people are going to be able to pull these looks off. shape in the back, right? It's a definitely like a V-shaped silhouette. Cool shoes. So here's the final rock of the full collection. Let's see if we spot anything.
tons of caramel, pink, browns, tons of jewel tones, lots of layering, lots of pencils, lots of blonde dresses. Definitely embellishment, definitely a 70s vibe. This, might, this collection might be a little too runway-ish for some of us. Um, you know, I think if these are, for myself anyway, I really try to calculate cost per wear. And some of these pieces I think are gonna be really hard to get a good cost per wear. Um, but again, it's so hard and I keep mentioning this. I've even mentioned it to the highest level folks I have met in Chanel, um, like at shows and stuff and mentioned like, we have to put in our reserves based off of this and guess at a size. So one, we eat in the meantime, and two, the sizing is all over the place. So we've got to have some kind of consistency. Otherwise we end up ordering something, it doesn't work. We have to trade with another store. You can't trade for a month and on and on. Um, so, you know, maybe this collection will be better in real life. And you know, there's always pieces that are thrown in that are not actually in the runway. Sometimes those are the most wearable. A few of you have actually mentioned that in comments. Um, so maybe that will be the case here. I just think from first glance, my fashion advisor asked me, what did you think of the show? And I'm like, I haven't even looked yet. So here we are looking together. Um, my first thought is that this may not be very wearable. Uh, it might be too runway-ish, but I'm sure we'll find some pieces in here, but I don't think this is their best. I wasn't like, oh my God, yes, yeah, screenshot, 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 like I would often sometimes be. So some interesting harmony, I think, among the pieces, yet yeah, at the same time, extremely eclectic. So. What would you all be interested in? What do you want me to find out more about, by the way? I am still working on the winter sale, um, but what here is um, interesting to all of you? I'd love to know. So thank you for watching. If you find this useful, please hit subscribe and let your friends know about this channel. Um, and thank you for all of your support.